On Yarn Spotlight today, yarn expert Clara Parks is back, and we're going to talk about some yarns that do the work for you. Hi, Clara. Hey, Uni. So we've got some really crazy stuff here. We do. I just thought there are times when you want to have fun with your knitting, mm -hmm. right? That we do so many useful projects for other people, and sometimes we just want to add some fun. Uh, so what I found is, this is a yarn that is hand spun in Indonesia, mm -hmm. and basically they have taken beads mm -hmm. and strung them in. They're hand tied on a separate strand for security so that they don't come oh, out. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then they have spun that with some recycled viscose mm -hmm. and some cotton, and there's a little bit of spandex in there. And what they've come up with is this happy, it just looks like a jar of candies. It really does. Mm -hmm. Um, so what I did, because I know not everybody is comfortable with tons of embellishment, so I started with just the flat base. Mm -hmm. This is what these yarns would look like without any of the beads strung mm -hmm. on it. And you can get it in, a, exactly. in an unbeaded and a beaded version. Exactly. So you don't have to go all the way if you're not comfortable doing mm -hmm. that. Beads tend to present themselves on the pearl side of your stitches. Oh. There's some fun with them because you never really know where they're going to fall, but just naturally they always seem to pop out on the pearl side. Mm -hmm. So what I did here was against a base of the smooth unadorned yarn, I added some little pearl patterns with the beaded mm -hmm. yarn. And this would be a great option for somebody who's not ready for full on. Exactly. Exactly. But say you're in Maine and it's March and it's been a really horrible long winter <laughs> and you need some help, go all the way. This one is just the beaded yarn and I had even more fun. We've got some pearl ridges going mm -hmm. on here. So the cool thing about that, because you're playing with pearl ridges, mm -hmm. is that it's reversible. Oh, and so you said that the, the beads end up on the pearl sides. Mm -hmm. You do have beads on, on both sides of your yarn. Exactly, because I've got pearl sides on both sides of the How yarn. How fun. Ha -ha. Do you have any tips for knitting with this kind of yarn? I know that when I knit with a beaded or embellished yarn, sometimes I, I feel like, ah, uh, you know, do I need to be paying attention to the beads or? Um, you know, you can pay attention to the beads. I think there really is some element of randomness to it, mm -hmm. and that kind of makes it fun. It's like the magic eight ball of knitting. Mm -hmm. You never know where the bead will fall. But after the fact, if the beads are presenting themselves in the wrong place and you're not very happy about it, all you have to do is just... Oh, poke. you can literally just pop you it through. You can literally just pop it through. Place yeah. them wherever you want yeah, to. Yeah, so you don't have to stress where the bead falls. These are really fun yarns, and I, I feel like you can really feel the spandex con content in it. Yeah, that's a very helpful addition because the cotton and the rayon and the viscose, they're not tremendously elastic. Mm -hmm. So by adding the more elastic material, you do get some good stretch going on there. And what would you yourself make out of a yarn like this? I would make something for my niece because she loves pink and she absolutely mm -hmm. adores pearls and pretty things like that. I think something to remember though is that um, the beads can add a lot of weight to your project ultimately. They can and that's what you could do. Um, again, maybe it's just because the pink is talking to me, <laughs> but you could do a really beautiful capelet where oh, around great. the bottom you could add the beads which would add more weight to give oh, it that that's really a great idea. regal feeling and yeah. it would give drape and it would give some shine to the whole thing. To use it to add some structure. Mm -hmm. So this is a fun option and then mm -hmm. you know, we have just a couple more embellished kind of yarns or or, or yarns with, with stuff. Yes, yes, this is a very pretty ribbon yarn. And now I don't know about you, maybe you can help me with this because sometimes I stress about like keeping it flat mm -hmm. or do I just give up and jam it together when you knit with a shiny yarn like this? I like to keep it flat. I think that it, it presents a, it, it keeps the stitches more um, more just even and even throughout, you know, mm -hmm. and you really get that luxurious sense of the gathered the gathered fabric. Mm -hmm. But if you just crush it up too, you get this really great lofty kind of oh, fabric. It feels wonderful. This would be great. Again, if you're not comfortable with that degree of all over mm -hmm. color, which I think is really pretty, but you can use it as trim. You mm -hmm. can use it as trim around a sweater, a collar, at the bottom of a shawl. Mm -hmm. You can add it sparingly in all sorts of places. And I'll tell you that leftovers are fantastic as gift wrap during the holidays. Oh, just what a great up. idea. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> well, and then something like this, especially, you could use it as a fun trim. Now, this is sequins rather than beads. Yes, that's a finer yarn that has, so the sequins, that is going to be more fun in the evening. A truly, truly <laughs> shiny, sparkly. Mm -hmm. Again, you could use it alone. You could strand it, like with a brushed mohair kind of a yarn. Oh, what a great idea. Um, you could do all sorts of stuff with this. And then here it looks like the shine is actually in the fiber. There's actually a shiny fiber in there. Exactly. Now, if you are a hand spinner, and I know you are a hand mm -hmm. spinner, you can have even more fun because they've actually incorporated shiny stuff into the yarn itself. Oh. Yeah. So it's just a little surprise sparkle at different areas of the fabric. Well, great. So you don't have to worry about being the world's greatest knitter or on that particular project, having it be the world's most intricate knitted project. You can Absolutely. have all the yarn, put the intricacy into it. That's exactly right. Well, thanks so much, Clara.